Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Lee and I'm a DIY electric skateboard builder. In today's episode, I've got Simon's board on the bench behind me. It's a build I've recently just completed. I did it mostly off camera to be honest. Uh, I've fitted it around some of the other stuff I've been doing. And uh, it's the one that me and Mo did the motors and the, um, the belt drive system for in the Mo Mondays episodes, which were a few weeks ago. Subsequently, I've done the vest enclosure, I've done the battery, I've done everything apart from the last thing. And that is Simon wants some integrated lights. The integrated lights must be able to run off the battery itself, the main skateboard battery. So um, I had a quick think about it and I come up with a couple of things. We're gonna fit what I've come up with onto the board today. I'm gonna let you guys decide for yourself whether you like the design or whether you don't. As always, the file will be in Thingiverse and I will link to it in the description in case you wanna print it yourself and make it yourself. But if not, enjoy me on the ride while we fit this. And uh, yeah, I think you're gonna find it interesting. So then guys, the board is on the bench and like I said, it's done. Um, and I did uh, run a lighting loom to the front of the board. Now I've done this because actually we bought, for Simon, we bought the electric deck from Tramper and that has the cutouts that go all the way along here to the back. Um, so what I've done is I've actually ran the wires, they go underneath the battery and they enter, I don't know if you can see in there, can I get the camera in there? In here they enter the channel and they're actually soldered somewhere around here inside that wire channel. Wire channel's available on Thingiverse guys. And then I've got the VESC enclosure at the back. Simon wanted a grey lid, a dark grey lid, and the only material suitable I could find was this uh, CPE, and unfortunately it's not suitable. It's actually, uh, the vest case has cracked there, uh, and it looks like it did shrink a tiny bit actually, so which I probably didn't account for, and that's maybe why there's a stress crack there. I think maybe if I up this to like 102% and reprinted it, I might be able to do it dark grey. I hope so, because actually, it does look really cool. It's like this two-tone effect, guys. That's nylon, and that is CPE. Uh, and then, yeah, you guys saw this in the Mo Mondays. Anyway, on to the main event. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fit some a light. Simon wanted a light to go on the front here somewhere. Now, obviously, he's got the big dual bull bars. So I didn't want to fit anything too big to the ball bar so it would stick out like that because then obviously this is supposed to be protecting anything behind it. So I want to put them behind, but then this sort of ball bar, it can't go on the truck because this ball bar gets in the way. If it goes on top, it looks a bit silly. So guys, I came up with something and I'm not sure whether I think it's brilliant or I think it's awful. I think Cy will probably quite like it because it enables us to get a big light on this board, but I'll let you be the judge. Let me know in the comments whether you like this. And don't forget guys, if you like my content, to like and subscribe to the channel. We do more stuff every week, every Monday, new video, and sometimes a bonus video on Thursdays as well. So then guys, I went searching online and I ended up buying a couple of these. Um, I think they were advertised as 40 watts, but uh, actually when the box came, I see they're 20 watts, but that's not a problem. 20 watts of power will still be plenty. Uh, but more importantly, they have a working voltage of um, 12 to 85 volts. I hope you can see that. 12 to 85 volts. So these will work for the full range of the battery. I think actually online it was they were uh, advertised as uh, 10 to 60 volts. So I don't know. Anyway, 12 to 85 volts. So they'll work for the full voltage range of the battery. So when I got it open, I thought, actually, it's a pretty nice design. It's got a clamp on it. It's for a push bike or an e-bike or something like that. It's got a nice big lens on it. Yeah, looks all right. So what I did is I stripped it down into its component parts and I was left with this. So this is the light on its own, basically, without the back cover on. You can see, actually, that um, a lot of this light, can you see, focus? A lot of this is heat sink all of this here um, the lights actually only that bit there but it's still plenty bright enough uh, even with just one on its own so actually I, I bin the idea of doing two and I decided to try and incorporate this somehow it looked a bit silly on the ball bar in front of the ball bar behind the ball bar it didn't sort of work so yeah I came up with something I want to show you this is what I came up with and I'm calling it Cyclops um, it's a nice, 
3D printed out of nylon. And the printer's been going the last couple of days prototyping it. It isn't the first of its kind. I have some old old nylon which I've printed, which you can see in the print quality actually. This is this is pretty poor. So that was the first one, then I realized it was too low and didn't see over the bars. So then I scaled it up and I printed the second one. Um, and then I realized I made the hole for the switch too big. When the switch arrived, it was a lot smaller than it said on the tech sheet. So then finally, last night, I printed this overnight and here we are, nylon, 40% infill, three walls, pretty strong, complies ever so slightly, won't wobble around though on the board. And um, well, basically the principle is, you put the wire, the wire through there, like that, what do you reckon? And then that wire comes back through here, into the chamber at the bottom, right? There's some securing screws on the back here to hold the light in place. It has um, two holes which have been modeled there, has them in the heat sink as well. A little place for the switch, and then a little cavity here to hold the fuse and the wiring, two channels to bring in the wiring from the board. So basically there'll be a little switch here. I did get a switch. Here it is. This little waterproof switch has a waterproof cover that goes over it. Um, this is pretty good. I think this was just two pounds or something like that on Amazon. It's only got one position for on, which is that one. So yeah, I incorporated it into design. That will end up sticking out of here, out of that hole. So that'll be your switch. Your wires will come in from the front of the board and, and that'll be it really guys. So let's um, let's put this thing together. Let's make the wiring harness and uh, get it on the board. So then guys, I want to do a quick calculation so we can uh, work out how much current this thing is going to draw. We know it's 20 watts and we know the lowest voltage of our board could only ever possibly be, let's say 30 volts to make sure it's never going to get to 30 volts because the vest will cut it out um, and stop it from getting there. But let's say 30 volts, worst case scenario. So guys, we know the minimum voltage will be 30 volts. We know the power, max power of the light is 20 watts. So we need to use the formula P equals I times V, uh, but rearrange it to find I. So that will be P divided by V equals I. So we know the power is 20 watts, and we know that the minimum voltage is gonna be 30 volts. So let's say that. So our current is 0 0.6 of an amp. So 666 milliamps. We'll go uh, a bit conservative with that and uh, for the fuse. In fact, actually we'll look for a two, two amp fuse. So I got myself some car fuses of different ilks. And that is a two amp fuse, guys. Um, and I'm gonna use that. And that, like I say, I built a little socket in here so we can house all this stuff in here quite nice and tidily. Right, cool, so that's the switch wired up. Okay guys, wiring loom is done. So it's obviously gonna go here at the front of the board um, and those two wires will run through these channels in so I want to give myself a little bit of wire, but not so much that I'm going to struggle with packing it all into that little void that I've got going there. So I think something like this. The cables are going to enter around about here. So that should be enough for me to get onto it. So I'm going to snip them. Bit of heat shrink. So we just need to solder um, the positive onto the fuse and the negatives together, put the heat shrink over it. Job done. This might be quite tricky though. Need the third hand. Oh, where's that gone? Don't buy this third hand guys, this third hand is garbage. 
possibly. Maybe. Oop. Ow. The third hand up here. Great. Thanks, man. Oh my god, this thing. Why is it so difficult? How did that not stick? Fuck off. Anyway, that's gone on. Get a bit of heat on that. Right, so that's all joined up. So, we better test it, eh? Plug the board in. And then, ta da! It's quite bright actually as well. So, that's good. All running off the main board battery. So, all we've got to do now, guys, is get that seat on there. And this board is done. Oh, apart from we've got to reprint that. Okay then guys, it turns out I need to get some slightly longer bolts here. It won't uh, bolt into the elastos and I can't get the front nuts on. So we need some slightly longer bolts. That's easy, I'm gonna order some of those. And then this thing is, is done guys basically, but I want to show you this light which is integrated into the main battery, now fitted. Uh, like I say, well, we'll sort the bolts out, but as you can see, nothing. Plug the main battery in to the board. And now we have some lights. So, I mean, let's talk a little bit about this design. So as you can see, guys, it's quite a big piece of plastic, really. Um, and it could look a little bit goofy. And at first I thought it was goofy, but it's got this like, I don't know, it's got this like Cyclops thing going on. And it's from my mate Simon, so Cyclops is perfect. Um, but uh, I'm actually quite happy with this build. I know it's very similar to how I did my first uh, build, guys. Um, same battery, but it's got my updated vest enclosure. This one's belt drive, but uh, it looks pretty sick, I think. And I think Simon's gonna be very happy with that, so I should send him a photo and get his reaction. So yeah guys, Cyclops, love it or hate it? I'd love to know what you think in the comments. Let me know. I'm happy to take criticism, guys. If you think this is ugly, let me know, man. Um, I thought it was ugly at first, but the more I look at it, the more I think it's pretty cool.